Oh dear. Right, okay, let's talk about XRP. XRP's price has exploded in value recently. And so in today's video, I'll be talking about what the next moves will be for XRP, for Ripple, and the SEC over the next few weeks and months. I will also be going over some fundamental and technical analysis and some very important price predictions. So I will need your full and undivided attention in today's video. My name is Tom. This is Crypto Busy. If you're new to the Crypto Busy channel, come on, subscribe today and join the Crypto Busy family. Also, a like on this video is very much appreciated. And so with that all being said, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so before I start, I need to prepare you guys. Before I go jump into the video, I will be in a bit of a rant mode in today's video because of the absolute skullduggery that goes on in the crypto and XRP communities and the hatred, the pure hatred that you see within these communities. And I'm just here saying, let's just spread the love. Let's talk about the facts. Let's talk about the figures. Let's talk about the timeline. Let's have a look at the, uh, you know, the, the evidence that's in front of us. So here's the first thing. Ripple wins ruling to expose SEC docs on Bitcoin and Ethereum. This is the most recent stuff that's come out from this trial. Now, in my opinion, this is not looking good for the SEC right now because they are have to expose and they have to talk about the documents that they had on Bitcoin and Ethereum. What happens if it's negative towards Bitcoin and Ethereum and it comes out to public knowledge and this is going to affect the market? This is not good. So the first thing that I get all the time is, oh, it's just going to affect XRP. This is not going to affect just XRP. This is also going to affect Bitcoin and Ethereum. So for my Bitcoin maximalists out there and my Ethereum maximalists out there that are laughing on this case, and I don't blame you, I would as well if I was a Bitcoin or Ethereum maximalist, um, you shouldn't be because if the, if the SEC say that XRP is a security, they're saying that a crypto is now a security and you could form that argument and place it onto any one of these cryptocurrencies. You could form that onto Bitcoin, onto Ethereum and many others that are out there and say, well, hang on, Ethereum technically is a company because it has a registered office somewhere, it's domiciled somewhere, and it has these tokens that are out there that could be described as securities, for example, and maybe you get you buy in a share of Ethereum. And so therefore it is a security. That's not good. It's not good for anybody. It's not good for the crypto market. That's the first thing. Now I'm going to talk about the timeline. The timeline is just ridiculous. So, okay, on the 23rd of December 2020, out of nowhere, by the way, the SEC, they said, we're going to, we're going to sue you, Ripple. We're going to put a, a lawsuit onto Ripple. Out of nowhere. Big shock. It just did a nice big pump up to like 70 cents. It's doing really well. And XRP's price tanked. Guess what happened next? Do you remember what happened next? What happened next was we got D-list XRP. We got exchanges left, right, and center delisting XRP. And that is absolutely crazy. And I don't blame the exchanges. You know, if you take an exchange like Coinbase that is going IPO next week, back then they're getting all their paperwork ready to submit to the SEC. They want to keep their noses clean and everything. And then out of nowhere, the SEC is saying, we're actually gonna, we're gonna sue Ripple and we're gonna say that XRP has got this red flag on top of it. Coinbase doesn't want that. Coinbase doesn't want an asset on their exchange that has a red flag that's going to deter investors when it comes to IPO now, next week in April. So I don't blame them for doing that. And so I made this video back on the 28th of December, 2020, the truth about the SEC and Ripple XRP. What you need to know, $10 XRP, is that possible? I'll talk about that later on in today's video as well. And I got comments on there saying, you know, you're stupid, you're crazy, this is up, this is ridiculous. And we just have to look at the wider perspective. And that's what I'm urging you guys in today's video as well as many other things. Look at the wider perspective and also the full picture here that we're seeing of the SEC suing Ripple. This is also an American government body is suing an American company. So, you know, that's the next thing. So then the next thing what happened is that, I'll leave it on the screen right now, I bought more XRP on the 29th of December, I believe. And it was like 18 cents of a dollar. Don't do that. Don't do what I did. That was absolutely ridiculous. It's crazy. Yes, it's a killer trade at the same time. But for someone in my position to say to you guys with the influence that we have, hey, buy XRP because it's now being sued by Ripple and it's being delisted. So you can't even trade the cryptocurrency on the majority of exchanges that are out there. That's wrong. That is stupid. So I kept my mouth shut. I bit my tongue. I was like, no. But I also, part of me was like, I see Ripple winning this case. So personally, I was like, okay, I'm going to buy some more XRP. And so that's what I did. And so that was the next thing. 
Then the next thing that happened on the 30th of January, 2021, this is about a few uh, months ago now, Ripple response to SEC in court alludes to bias in Ethereum classification. So there's this whole thing about Ethereum is Ethereum now security? And again, I do think if if Ripple say, well, the SEC say that Ripple is a security, this will affect the rest of the market as well. And so I said, Ripple XRP 2021 price predictions, SEC lawsuit, and more. And again, on that video, I was called, you know, you know you're stupid, you're this, that, and the other, all the words under the sun. And so that happened. Then we fast forward to the 1st of April, April Fool's Day, 2021. Top five altcoins for huge gains in April. This was just six days ago. And these are Crypto Gems 2021. And I talked about XRP. This is when it was 56 cent of a dollar. And I said, I even said on that video, hey guys, this is not, this is not an April Fool's joke. I'm being serious because if we look at the fundamentals of XRP, it looks like it's going to rip very soon. And guess what happened a few days later? It just ripped. It went to $1. It went to $1.10 at one point. And I even said in that video as well, I don't like the technicals. The technicals are awful on XRP. If we look at the technicals right now, let's have a look at it right here. Look at it. That's awful. I don't like that. No, you can't do a, a succinct uh, you know, technical analysis on that right now. That is ugly. That's awful. But again, there's two things. There's two sides to this. We have to look at the technicals. We also have to look at the fundamentals. And when we look at the fundamentals of XRP, it ticks five boxes. It has a good team, a good white paper, has a good roadmap, it has good technology, and also it is being adopted. It ticks those five boxes. In my eyes, it does really well for a project and it has more of a chance of doing well in the future in terms of its price action, what we're seeing right now. We're not out of the woods just yet, okay? The Ripple haven't won this lawsuit. They haven't lost this lawsuit. We're still in sort of a limbo mode, but a few wins here and there is, is pushing the price upwards as well for XRP. And then so, on the 7th of April, on the day of recording, we get a video from BitBoy, the largest channel in the crypto sphere, and he was saying that he's wrong about XRP and the scariest Ripple conspiracy. First of all, big respect for saying that you're wrong, and I think, you know, the humility in this is very cool. Um, but also at the same time, you know, it's the change in tone and the tone has been quite interesting as well. BitBoy touched on some very interesting points in this video. And so he was talking about the conspiracy, how you got Jeb as well, selling was XRP. And by the time it gets to May, all of his XRP is going to be sold. Many other things that are getting involved in uh, the SEC and Ripple lawsuit. And we're seeing this again. And I, I keep on going back to it. This will affect the rest of the market. So that's just, you know, my rant for XRP for Ripple. That's what I'm talking about there. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, at CryptoBusy, and also join the Telegram group chat. That's another thing as well. Just to hone the point just a little bit more, people were commenting on our top picks videos saying we were stupid. We were stupid. We were called all the names under the sun for picking XRP. When will people learn that you don't need to like a coin to make money on it? And that's the other side to it as well. Yes, this is the disruptive technology. We're going through the fourth industrial revolution, and this is a new technology that's happening with crypto. And, and that's new and it's, it's good to have a fascination about that. At the same time, people in the market to make money, bottom line. And so when we make a video about top picks for the month, these are top picks that I think if you look into, none of this financial advice, we think these projects are gonna do really well as well. So if you wanna get a rounder picture of what's happening in the markets for XRP and also many others are out there, many other cryptocurrencies, also be sure to join our crypto busy VIP coin calls, link down in the description below. We'll also have a gold tier as well with that. So a lot of good stuff that's happening with XRP and also what's the other news here? Yeah, cryptocurrency market cap it hits $2 trillion, now worth as much as Apple. This is absolutely insane stuff for uh, the community and for everything that's going on in, you know, in the crypto space. Also be sure to check out Equos, linked down in the description below. They've got a great trading platform. You can trade the top cryptocurrencies that are out there and you know, also check out what they have available. It's a clean looking website uh, and also very good what they have there as well. So let me just recap on what's happened in today's video and what my points are. Where do I think things are going for XRP? First of all, I think XRP, if Ripple win this lawsuit, XRP is going to rip. It's going, in my opinion, it's going to go to its all time high. It's going to smash its all time high. And I think it will go to probably $5. And there will be a big sell region between $5 to $10. So, so I'll be looking to pick up some more XRP. If we see a dip below 70 cents, I'll be looking to sell some XRP if we go above $1.50. And that will be happening over the next few weeks and also months as we progress through this bull cycle. And so those are my sell points. Those are my buy points. That's what I feel. Um, yeah, just, just comment down below what your thoughts and opinions are on this. 
And, um, you know, I'd love to know what you guys have to say about it. And I'll also be responding to some comments down below as well. Make sure that you leave a like on this video. It's very much appreciated. And I'll leave all the necessary links in the description below as well. So that's it for me in today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.